Hard to believe we're already heading into the last weekend of September, October 1st on Sunday. And here to highlight a few events you may want to check out is Sarah Warner of Destination Madison. Good to see you. You too, thank you. So you can catch a couple of free films That's at right. Union South. And I want to know, is this just for students or for the general public? For general public, cool. totally free. There's food on site, but you can also bring in anything you want. So there's three. Um, there's Juno, there's Fallen Angels, and there's Dead Poets Society. And the timings kind of vary, so check out their website to see when you can check those out. I've never been in the theater. That's at Union South. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Is it on that first floor? I Have believe so, yeah. Mm, I love that. Check it out. And yeah. they do free films often, so if you right. can't do it this time, Yeah, check that's it one out. great thing about the university, too, is like all of the, a lot of the events that are free are open to the public, too. Yeah, like don't be afraid to go on campus yeah. if you're older. <laughs> okay, if you are a vegan, Madison Vegan Fest is on Saturday. That's right. It returns again. It's been staying in Madison, which is great. Um, cool. So lots of vegan food options, vendors, crafts, but also a whole speaker lineup oh. uh, for, with folks teaching about kind of the concepts and what it means and for sustainability sustainability and why to be mm. vegan or why to explore the options for that for animal rights and all sorts of reasons. Yeah, glad to have good weather for this and also on Saturday an event that if you are a soccer fan, you don't want to miss. That's right, and it's great, open, free for the public, and you know, kids can sign up and register for free. But MGE is hosting again Dia de Football, a little bit different format this year, um, but it's really fun to check out. Really good energy. They play some kind of like group kids together to play some games, and then there is an Olympic soccer star from Mexico that is, that is so going to be there. Cool, Carlos Salcido. So you can hear from him, check out the games, and just spend some time outside of Bree Stevens. Right, when do you get to meet an international soccer star? So hey, if you love <laughs> soccer, do it. And then there is a fall festival in Verona. Verona at the Farley Center. So lots of apple stuff. Um, you can press in the 180-year-old cider press, make some, some apple cider. They'll be doing tours of the sanctuary, uh, lots of like food options, El Sabor de Puebla, Madame Chu's for some food trucks. Family friendly. They're also going to be some mus musicians playing and and more kind of speakers giving some information about the farming. Oh, those apples! I'm kind of hungry for a snack, and those apples look they look delicious. so good. <laughs> awesome, Sarah. Thank you. Hope you have a good weekend. You too. Thank we'll you. See you in two weeks.